Welcome to another tutorial for EQ Symphalite. And the first thing you do in a project is to set up your real physical project, your fixtures and your engines and your interfaces. And this is done in Symphalite in the setup window. And we will now set up a project with several layouts to show how this is done in Symphalite. First of all, we will start with a new project and place fixtures and engines. The whole process of adding engines and fixtures to your layout, to your project, runs in a drag and drop mode from devices library. So first of all, I will add some engines to my project. I just via drag and drop place Butler Pros in my project and the whole time during setting up the configuration I can see all elements in my layout, in my project, here in this window on the right side. Here now I have four Butler Pro, five Butler Pro, where I can assign now the DMX universes to the output channels and so on and so on. So these are my controllers. I can also add for example your serial ports or UDP functions to my layout. Now I want to place the fixtures and I will use 64 pixel boards from Jackson. And in this build mode where I built my project, I can either now drag and drop fixtures into the layout or I can use matrix mode. I will zoom out a little bit and now keeping the mouse button pressed I create my first set of pixels and zoom out. I can now move and place this selection and I will do this again And again and again. I can select fixtures by dragging a frame around them and I can then move or delete the set of fixtures. Every fixture I place gets a DMX address and a DMX universe. I can modify the universe and DMX assignment here, but I can leave it here as it is and Symphony distributes the DMX addresses in a liner mode over all the fixtures that are placed. So here now is my little media wall and this is also visible here. I click into the devices tab and call this pixel wall layout. Okay, this is complete. This is my first layout. I will now add a second layout. And in this layout, I just place Coflights RGB. One, two, three, four, and I zoom in and all the placement of fixtures is in a grid and you can switch on or switch off the grid and you can change the size of the grid. I select now the fixtures to distribute them. Okay, so now I have two layouts. I have a second new layout which is my Coflight layout. And here I see the DMX addresses that are assigned to my Coflights. One more function in Symphalight is grouping. I can from this layout select by keeping the control key pressed single 
co-flights. And I can put together these co-flights in one group. And here now one new group was assigned, which I renamed to first coves. And I can then later control these single fixtures as I also can address and control all fixtures. These are groups. So now my layouts are complete. I have my pixel wall and I have my cove lights. And all settings for fixtures and engines is done here in the device properties where I assign not only the location but also the DMX addresses. So my setup is complete here. I can, if I want, also change the addressing scheme of the fixtures. And for this I would go to the patch mode. And now I see the connections of the fixtures in the universes. I can change the addressing of the addressing mode of the fixtures to change the assignment to universes and DMX addresses. I don't have to, but I can do it if I want. I can also, by selecting all fixtures, then use an auto addressing. And this auto addressing depends on the fixtures you are using, the way you want to have the addressing scheme. Additionally, in the setup, I can add background images and I can add labels, which are text elements. To add a label, just click and change. the content of the label. A background image, for example, can be used to have a drawing in the background to show the distribution of the fixtures, for example, in the building plan. And last but not least, if I have the fixtures really physically connected to an engine and to the system, I can use a test system to see if my addressing scheme and my address mapping really works right. One additional function is the RDM browser, where you can see the RDM data that are coming in from the fixtures. And there are some more functions in the Symphalite setup. And many of these functions are behind context menus or are visible in the devices area. Here I have all elements in the setup and all can be selected or my groups to see the configuration. So far for the setup process, see we now have for the next step created two layouts, one with cove lights, which is rather simple and one more or less complex with 64 pixel boards. And the next thing we'll do is to create content for this configuration.